transitioning into some of the things that really made a difference for us, okay? The Hill Academy. When we had the top 50 game in Hopkins, where we narrowed it down, it was a one-goal game, blue versus white, all right? But again, this is good on good, and we walked to that scrimmage, and I told my staff, I said, we are, we are absolutely nowhere near where we need to be. And the scary part is, these kids think we are. And when I got the job, when I talked to Coach Skip, the first thing I said to him is I said, Coach, we're going to have to scrimmage some people that maybe we haven't scrimmaged before. There's a lot of people that have been very good to U.S. lacrosse. We got a lot of incredibly nice phone calls that wanted us to scrimmage this team and that team and Philadelphia and Baltimore and Long Island, and they were incredible offers. I said, we got two people we need to scrimmage. We need to scrimmage the Hill Academy, and we got to get phone with Coach Helen, and we got to scrimmage Canada. I said, if we want a chance to go over there and really understand what we're up against, those are critical to our success. We made it as big a venue as we possibly could. We prepared the men, and you could just, you could tell going in, it was very unsettling, all right? And we got ex almost exactly what we thought, all right? We got a big, big slice of humble pie. They, they absolutely drilled us at the face-off X, all right? We were, we were outcoached. I was outcoached. They, they, were, they, were, they were organized. They were tougher mentally, physically, and it was exactly what we needed. We went back to the locker room that day, and mentally, we had been broken that moment. There was guys that broke down in that, in that scrimmage. There was unsportsman likes. There was words being said. There was things that were absolutely not representative of Team USA. We went back up to the locker room. I said, man, listen, there's going to be articles written. There's a lot of media around this team. There's going to be things said about me, you, the staff, this team. Again, that's nonsense. That means nothing. What we have to appreciate is are we going to use this opportunity to grow stronger together? And right now, as a team, they got a lot more trust in their locker room than we do in this one. And let me tell you, if we hadn't done that and we had beaten Canada the first night 12-5 the way we did, I'm not sure we have a world championship right now.